Aloha, I'm Congressman Mark Takai, and I have the honor and privilege of representing, representing Hawaii in Washington, D.C. Today marks my 100-day milestone of serving the people of Hawaii in the United States House of Representatives. My wife, Sammy, and our two children, Matthew and Kyla, were in the House chambers where I took the oath of office on January 6. In my first 100 days in office, I have already introduced a number of bipartisan bills. My first bill seeks to honor the promises we made to our Filipino veterans during World War II. I also recently introduced legislation to bring additional resources to Hawaii in order to mitigate the impact of COFA migrants. I have co-sponsored over 50 bills that support working class families, increase educational opportunities, protect in our environment, and sustain a growing economy. Legislation is a crucial component of my job. However, my efforts to enact positive change in Hawaii extend far beyond the House floor. I've been holding hearings in Hawaii to discuss a variety of issues and to listen to the needs of the community. I've also had the opportunity to participate in a bipartisan congressional delegation visit to Asia. We spent time discussing the future of the Asia Pacific region. We focused on the U.S military's rebalance to the Pacific and the important role Hawaii plays. I have worked hard to recruit a dedicated team that understands the uniqueness of Hawaii. In fact, every member of our staff is proud to call Hawaii home. However, the most important thing I sought to instill in my staff was that we are here to serve you and the great state of Hawaii. It's true that there are challenges of being a Democratic freshman congressman from one of the smallest states in the nation. And even though con Congress is seemingly paralyzed by the party divide, as a new congressman with fresh eyes and fresh energy, I see ways that we can, we must work together, Democrats and Republicans, freshmen and seniors. Look, for example, at two major pieces of legislation that we have recently worked on. Congress passed a clean funding bill for the Department of Homeland Security with bipartisan support. Additionally, a couple weeks ago, the House passed the Doc Fix bill, which solved a problem with Medicare payments that has plagued Congress for nearly 20 years. Congress oftentimes is associated with extreme gridlock and that it is unable or unwilling to come together and address the major issues face facing our nation. However, I have met many colleagues on both sides of the aisle who are here with the same purpose and passion. At the end of the day, we are all people representing our respective communities. Stay tuned for exciting new developments as we move forward through this next term. I'll be introducing legislation on topics like early childhood education, cybersecurity, financial literacy, civil liberties, and a few more. Where Congress may not be able to find a solution by legislating, I will work with federal agencies to find solutions that drive home policies that will continue to make Hawaii the special place that it is. Hawaii has many challenges ahead, but I am confident that by working together as a united delegation with Senator Brian Schatz, Senator Maisie Hirono, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, and our other colleagues and partners from other states, we can ensure a better, more prosperous future for everyone. And if you're coming to our nation's capital, please contact our Washington, D.C. office. We would love to host you for a visit to Capitol Hill or to the White House. Since we started in January, I've hosted Aloha on the Hill, a weekly meeting in my office in the Cannon Office Building for people coming from Hawaii to D.C. We have light refreshments while talking about the important issues. On this 100th day in Congress, I vow to be a champion for Hawaii and to always fight for the strong values of our home state. My door is always open, and I look forward to continuing to serve you in Congress. Mahalo.